Season of Discovery Phase 3 DPS ranking Sunken Temple Week 8. This is the best thing ever. Like, if you're playing WoW and you're playing a Season of Discovery, basically, before you create a character, you should come and visit this, you know, DPS rankings. This is determining which character you should play. For example, Mage, no bueno. No bueno, basically, Mage. Uh, after that, um, DPS Priest, no bueno as well, you know, Warlock, get the flick out of here. You know what I'm trying to say? You're going to this guide and you're basically min-maxing the amount of sweat that's going uh, on your forehead. It's so amazing because if you min-max that, you're going to be able to actually have a chance to play the game because the top sweats the people with most sweat on their forehead are going to be able to take you on the raids and stuff like that. Otherwise, you should find some casual guild that, you know, these guys don't know how to have fun. By the, by the way, I have a guild. I, ha I have a guild. It's the most amazing guild in the world, but it's not in Season of Discovery. It's not in Season of Discovery. It's in Cataclysm Classic. And uh, you have a chance... To play whatever you want and have the time of your life, by the way. But uh, you should not play Season of Discovery because it, it, it's full of people that don't know how to have fun anymore. Which is a little bit sad, um, in my opinion, but it is what it is. But as we said, Mage, get the flick out of here. Warlock, get the flick out of here. Priest... All that kind of stuff. You should play stuff like Warrior, Shaman, Rogue. Uh, but Rogue, only DPS Rogue. If you want to tank as Rogue, you know, you can just delete your character. It's useless. Um, you know, all that good stuff. But w wait a second. If you follow these charts, you're not going to become a professional player. You're really serious about it. Your mother is proud of you. But maybe if you had a job, she would be prouder, you know, more proud. So look at it, but not too seriously.